Tonight on UT's campus, experts weighing in on the conflict in Ukraine. Six on your side's Wes Cooper was at the What to Know About the Russia-Ukraine Crisis Lecture and joins us now here live in the studio. And so, Wes, looks like a lot of people wanted to know more about the situation in Eastern Europe. That's exactly right, Bo. There wasn't an empty seat in the Baker Center tonight for the lecture. The lecture was a panel discussion, including professors and a researcher. One panelist said, right now, America can't demand too much from Russia. I think people are, are a little skeptical about, you know, how this, this conflict's uh, going to turn out. There's a lot of confusion about Russia's, you know, capabilities. Great power conflict. Experts from UT were hoping to clear up some of the confusion, but agree America needs to take a firm stance on Russia. This is a pretty significant war. This is not a war that's in a faraway land that we don't hear about very much, but it's very much affecting America. This will be a shock to the world economy, clearly, in my opinion. Dr. Timothy Robertson says we're already seeing the effects of the crisis in Ukraine here at home economically, especially in local gas prices. Russia's having what he believed. According to Dr. Catherine Luther, one of the weapons Russia is using right now is disinformation. The misinformation is when you, you know, you kind of mistakenly share information that's false, but disinformation is when there's malice behind it and that you're sharing information really to hurt um, or cause um, harm to individuals or groups or, or to nations. Luther says Russia calling their invasion of Ukraine a quote special military operation is evidence of disinformation. She believes the actions are insidious. Right now they don't have access to the, what's actually happening in Ukraine. And so what they are hearing all comes from the Kremlin because the media there is very much controlled by the Kremlin. We know that Russia is lying in many different regards because of all this information coming from people's uh, phones. Smart Phones. We see videos of what's really happening when, this, when the Russian government says something is not happening. Wiegand thinks the main reason why Russia invaded Ukraine is because of geopolitical competition. Between the West, led by the U.S. and NATO, uh, and, and what was the Soviet Union and is now Russia, which declined after the Cold War. And Vladimir Putin wants to be a superpower again, and he wants to, this is one of the ways he wants to show the world that he's capable of it. Weekend is encouraging everyone to support the people of Ukraine in any way you can. And she says the crisis in the country is far from over. Bo. All right, Wes, thank you. Now we will have the full what you want to know about the Russia-Ukraine crisis lecture on our website, wat.com. Just look for this story. Also, we should know former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch, will be visiting UT in May.